In the last six years of living in Japan, I've been incredibly lucky to travel the whole country. But this place is hands down the most beautiful place in all of Japan. Good morning guys, welcome back to Journey Across Japan, never ending cycle of despair. Today, you join me on the big one, the big cycle across the inland sea of Japan, a chain of five or six islands, numerous bridges, mountains, hills. Many people describe this as the best route to cycle in all of Japan and having done it a few years ago, I can attest to that being accurate. It really is an incredible journey and I've been really looking forward to this, the whole last month of doing this cycle. Joining me today is uh, Sharla in Japan. We're just gearing up and in fact, we're gonna, we're gonna miss our ferry. This is the ferry that takes you to the first island, which is where you begin. We better hurry up because we're gonna miss it. So. so it's a very quick ferry ride, about five minutes, and this takes us over to the first island. And there, I will show you the map. I'll show you what we're doing today. How are you feeling? Good, look at the castle. There's look a little the castle. castle up on the mountain behind us. Yeah good the weather's amazing we're so lucky very lucky the last time i did this three years ago yeah. it was in the height of august oh my god and it was about 36 37 degrees or something and i got sunstroke i was able to complete the cycle how long did it take you it took me the whole day like this is going oh to god, you know heat. and we've arrived so charlotte's got a map here guys uh this gives you a sense of perspective. We are here right now. I'm going to go across this island, over a bridge, over this island, over a bridge, round this island, over a bridge, round this island, over a bridge, round this island, over a bridge, over this island, over a bridge, the end. And that's the day, about five or six bridges. I like how it warns you where the steep hills are. Steep hills, you could do it. Frequent up and down hills. The motivation we need. <laughs> the, um, the last time I did this, I actually found it more difficult than climbing Mount Fuji. It'll either be quite difficult because my legs are fucked from cycling a thousand kilometers, whatever it is. Or, yeah, I haven't stretched yet. Or it'll be easy because my legs are really strong and brilliant now. All I know is, let's go. There are almost 3,000 islands in the Seto Inland Sea, and amongst the most famous are Miyajima, home to the Itsukishima Shrine, one of Japan's most famous landmarks, and Okunoshima, also known as Bunny Rabbit Island, where weirdos come from across the land to roll around in a pile of rabbits. Sadly, there are no rabbits on our journey today though, but we do have an abundance of tranquil beaches and emerald green seas at every turn. This is another reason I love the cycle. You have these little beautiful beaches all to yourself, the sea is rather calm because it's the inland sea of Japan. Um, and it's just a very peaceful, calm route the whole way. You can do it, Shala. You can do it. Shala's tired. We had to go up a nasty little hill to get to the bridge. And alas, we are here. You can't even see the end of it. Water break. But we've got a sick GoPro time lapse to do. Prepare to make the jump to hyperspace. <laughs> Three, two, one, start off. The first bridge is done. Yeah. One bridge down, five to go. That was Inoshima Bridge, it was 770 meters. And look everyone, it's an orange orchard. Yeah, is that a symbol of hope? Is that a symbol of good things to come? It is. A positive omen? Of course it is. Yeah. Oranges, look at the oranges, probably. I think I've just made that up. I must admit though, after doing that first bridge, I feel like anything's possible. Nothing can stand in our way now. <laughs> funny, it's been three years and two months since I last did this cycle route and yet I remember the day incredibly clearly as though it was yesterday. Like I remember this bloody hill <laughs> we're at now. Um, I don't know why that is, my memory's not that great, but I remember this cycle trip 
this day so clearly. And I think that's because I really was in the moment that day. I was very mindful of my surroundings. <laughs> I wasn't thinking, I wasn't filming, I wasn't doing anything. I was just cycling and enjoying the scenery around me. And when you're in the moment like that, without a care in the world, without a thought in your mind, I think it's really easy to capture that time and place and keep it in your memory very clearly, as I have done with this fucking hill. Having triumphantly conquered our second bridge of the day, Charla and I stop off for a healthy, nutritious Lawson's lunch. So we're now about 20 kilometers in, guys, which is about a third of the way. Uh, yesterday, I did a challenge for the cycle where I was a vegan for the whole day, which is a, a tough challenge. Today, that's all gone out the window, though, because I've got fried chicken on a skewer and beef and rice. Back to my old ways, I didn't learn a thing. I'm not a better man for being a vegan for a day. Why are you laughing? You did well for the day. I'm I impressed. did well for the day. I'm I came to the realization being a vegan for a day that I, I just can't ever do, I can't, I can't be a vegan. Not in ever. Japan. Just the, my, my lifestyle, the way I do things, I just can't ever do it. And I'm never gonna, never gonna be one. Fair play to people that are. How are you feeling so far? It's good. The hills were really tough, but as long as we take breaks afterwards, it's totally doable. Yeah. What's this? What is this? <laughs> what is going on? I'm trying to make a YouTube video here. What do you think of the scenery so far? I actually, it's a lot different than I expected Hiroshima to be. My image of Hiroshima wasn't this tropical. Like the water is such a pretty blue color, mm. but it's beautiful here. Not gonna lie, it's not the most romantic location. Sitting out the front of Lawson's <laughs> with my fried chicken on a skewer <laughs> and my rice ball. I don't deserve this. I've got a YouTube channel. So I don't deserve to sit on the floor. As beautiful as this journey has been today, I have faced more hills in the last six hours than I think I've faced in all the other days combined of this month long cycle. The only good thing is the scenery keeps you going. The scenery keeps you motivated because you just pull over at any point on the cycle and you are rewarded with an incredible view. Like this. Or, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And there, over there is our next bridge, our next challenge. Come on, we're nearly there. How are you feeling? I feel fine when I'm not going uphill, and then as soon as we start to go uphill, my upper thighs burn. Well, I've got some bad news. We're about to go downhill. That's good news. And then up a hill. Stop it. Don't well, tell no, we've me been that. climbing up a hill. Don't tell me that. We've been climbing up a hill for 10 minutes. We have, I've noticed. And we've got to go up a more hill. And yet there's, it's going downhill now. Let's just enjoy this. Let's enjoy this while it lasts. So we've just crossed this gigantic, majestic, spectacular, wonderful, incredible bridge. I feel like I should say something profound or brilliant on camera. Yeah. To mark this moment. You should. What should I say? Say something. Say something. Say something. I'll say something. I'll try and say something profound. There's a mosquito on your face. Brilliant. Profound statement, take one. This isn't just a bridge, this is a crossing to a new me. <laughs> nah, fuck it, do it again. Profound statement, take three. Ever since the dawn of time, mankind has loved bridges. But what are bridges? Why are you laughing? <laughs> this was going to be really good. This is going to be really good. And you've ruined it by laughing. There's only one more bridge to go. A better bridge. A better bridge. The, the biggest bridge. bridge you ever did saw. I'm excited. It's pretty big. it guys the last bridge shit <laughs> the uh, the hill up to the final bridge is brutal and after a day of cycling 50 60 kilometers a hill 
Oh, lucky son of a bitch, it's got a moped. Damn you. Well, oh, you're so close. I'm oh, a bit gutted. If we'd got here 20 minutes earlier, we would have got the best sunset view known to man. Like the sun setting <laughs> with a four kilometer suspension bridge in front of us. But it does look cool, it's like a blood red sky. Looks like we're cycling towards the apocalypse. Keep going Charla, you can do it. My legs uh, just feel like they're on fire. But I feel pretty good, like we've, we've made it to the last bridge. Don't know how we're gonna get across it before it gets dark. Well, we're not, we're not. It's gonna be dark by the time we get over it. Go, go, go. Yeah. Look at that view. Seriously. That guy looked three times your age and he shot three past you like a rocket. Three times as old. To be fair, he has a proper bike. You have a proper bike? No, I don't. Yeah, you do. I saw that one. It was one of the fancy ones. We were like, it's definitely easier. <laughs> I've been incredibly lucky over the last six years to travel Japan extensively. But this is hands down the most beautiful place in all of Japan. No competition. I just hope I've done it justice today with GoPros and drones and cameras. Hopefully we've done it justice. How do you feel? I'm really happy that we made it for at least the end half. <laughs> Golden hour. The sun looks like it's exploded. <laughs> I've never seen a sunset this beautiful. The only thing I'll say, the only downer on all this is I do feel quite sick at the moment. It's been hill after hill after hill. My legs are trembling yeah. from the exertion. Yeah. I don't think I ate enough energy jelly or drank enough energy jelly. I don't know what it is. Is it eating or drinking jelly? Do you eat or drink jelly? Slurping, Slurping jelly. Well guys, today was officially the hardest day of the cycle so far. Uh, I think we might have broken Charlotte's legs for good. The last time I saw her, she was just sort of falling down some stairs. Uh, I don't think we'll be seeing her again for a while. But today was a nightmare by all accounts, not just because of Charlotte. It was a really, a real slog. 70 kilometers, half a dozen bridges. I really feel like I pushed myself to the limit today. But I stand by what I said on the bridge earlier. The Shimanami Kaido cycle route in the inland sea of Japan does have the best scenery in Japan. Um, and whether you like cycling or not, if you come to Japan on a holiday for two, three weeks, try and set aside one or two days and just do it because it will be difficult, it will be hard, but it will be extremely rewarding and you won't regret it. So definitely do it if you get the chance. And then afterwards, you can go and see Bunny Rabbit Island and live the dream, rolling in a pile of rabbits, innit? So now we are in Shikoku, Japan's uh, smallest main island. And tomorrow we're gonna to be checking out the city of Matsuyama, which is one of my favorite cities actually. So I'm looking forward to having a slightly more relaxed day uh, checking out the city tomorrow. But for now guys, no matter where you might be, out there in the big wide world. Thanks for joining us today on Journey Across Japan and I'll meet you right back here tomorrow to do it all over again. Have a good one. Learn something interesting about the town you are in from a local. Takazo, so, I've known you about 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. And I get the impression you really like oranges. <laughs>